Aaron G. Welcome in and congratulations on being officially the fastest thing alive, claiming first in the chat on the screen. Hope you're doing well today. very much for the treat for the bar staff. I will deal with that when we get onto the main screen. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. Uh, the warm-up break will be starting very shortly. There it is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to quickly go and grab some water. Just raided with 14 viewers. Oh shit, Titters, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. I hope your stream went well. Um my train started. We have TTS again now for basically everything. Um there we go. that was what was wrong there. We're probably gonna have some weird erroneous sound effects today. Um I'll explain after the, the warm-up break is done. Um, and I'll say hello to everyone properly after the warm-up break is done. I'm just going to go and refill my water bottle before um, we get into the stream proper. water now <laughs> very much needed i do not need to medicate um i have taken my meds already today but thank you torpor for the demand there <laughs> uh, going to sleep soon no worries at all rng you have a good sleep thank you for choosing to nap in the lurkers lounge Carter, welcome in. Kean, welcome in. Eagle Mustache, welcome in. Titters, of course, welcome in. Dash, welcome in and thank you for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge. Torpor, thank you for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge. I was not expecting to get raided. Okay. I explain a lot, dear. How have you not noticed that? Right, it was in, in a. I have. I had to go to the door or something. Oh no! Like, like you've come to get me and I'm not there because otherwise it's just No, no, none of that. You're fine. Hello there. Jugs McHugs. Hello, welcome Jugs in. Oh, slow! Hello. Don't start with judging people's usernames. Oh, that's a great username. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Welcome in. And um, yeah, 10. Jesus, that's that's disgusting. I hope they're done now. Because um, they should be. I'm now free from ad prison. Titters, welcome in. Thank you so, so much for that raid. And seeing as, uh, seeing as your shout out got covered up by uh, the ad break, we'll get you a... Playing some running with rifles, fantastic. I hope you're having fun with it. Um, I didn't get to lurk in your stream today because I've had meetings. Um, 
apparently uh, my colleagues have missed me in the not even a full week that I've been off. Hello Nat, welcome in, I hope you're doing well. Gotten into a modding flow, but I'm keen to see more Kaichu and whether I hate it. So I'll likely be popping in and out. No worries at all, Nat. That is perfectly fine. Hello Grox, welcome in. I don't know if it was Twitch or my PC, but the whole thing just fell over, but I'm back now. Um, well, I don't think it fell over here, um, but I'm glad you're back. Welcome back. Goodness gracious, that, that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm free, fucking hell, seriously, Jugs Hugs. I don't know what Twitch's fucking problem is. Like, I, I, I literally have the, the brakes set up the way I do so that I have a bit more control over what you folks are exposed to in terms of the volume of ads and they still fuck me over every time. It's really quite annoying. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but thank you for dealing with ad prison and um, hanging around. I appreciate it. Aw, oh, thank you, Nat. That's lovely of you. Of course, they do twitch your arseholes. That is very true. Um, my colleagues want to come and watch my streams, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> um, one of them... Thank you, everybody, for the um, the hype train that apparently happened. That was unexpected. Um, don't worry, we'll do our best to drive them away. Yeah, one of my colleagues was like, I didn't know you streamed. You don't do enough PR. Why aren't you telling everybody at work about it? And I was like, because then you get to see what I'm actually like, and I'm not sure I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, I really tone it down at work. Um, I'm not sure they could cope with me if they knew what I was really like. <laughs> anyway. Let's smooch some monsters, shall we? <laughs> we will man the trenches. Have the field gun, oh no. No, to be fair, my colleagues are fucking lovely. Um, I'm just not sure they could cope with me at my full nerd power. and I really don't want to damage my reputation at work. <laughs> I mean, I have nerd cred at work, so I suppose I wouldn't damage my reputation, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So... They'd love it. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe not. We, we will never know. <laughs> okay. So this is the third and final community playthrough of Kaiju, the Kaiju dating sim. During the first playthrough, uh, for those that weren't here for that, the community voted on which Kaijus they wanted to date the most. We have already um, dated uh, Lava Lady, Mountain Lady, Volcano Lady, um, Volcano Lady who was interesting. She got the most votes. Then we dated Legally Distinct Moth Bay, who is my favourite. Yes, I'm very biased. Hello, Rocket. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. And today, today we date Legally Distinct Three-Headed Creature that lives in a vast expanse. Hero Quest is the best game ever made, and anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Yeah, exactly, Nat. Um, th there is a certain amount of separation there. Um, I don't mind if people from work know that I stream, but yeah, the, the idea of them watching me stream makes me nervous. <laughs> Hello, Cypher. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. Okay, so jukebox is on. I'd probably initially 
be interested in legally distinct moth bay. I, I like legally distinct moth bay. She's cute. And she cares about her kids. She she's a she's a good mama moth. Ah, uh, wonderful. We are continuing the tradition. I've forgotten what the controls are. They're so cute. I love them so much. On the plus side, it tells you what the controls are on the screen. We're going to keep our pronouns from before. So uh, we are Giga Chu. Our pronouns are Chu Chu. Oh, Chibi Tan, why do you have such a problem with Blondie? We do have the gargoyle um, bit as a sound command as well, Eagle Mustache. This game is why I have so few bar tokens. Fair. Hello. So we're not going to go through the plot again. We've been through the plot before. Look, he's uh, just uh, gone through a rough breakup and is talking about it on national television. It didn't. I wonder why it didn't work. Oh, is that one that was still in stream elements? Okay, so we killed stream elements' uh, control over the channel. And that may have killed some of the sound commands. Oops. Small casualty of the uh, this renovations. Rubbish. This is an abomination. Abomination works. A couple of them, I think muscularity's in with the exclamation mark muscles sound command, uh, Tidus. Uh, yeah. yeah. But we got Barra instead. Very loud Barra. Very loud Barra. We need to turn that sound down. I'll make a note of that for later. Yeah, it's it's somewhere in there. Um, yeah, that is offensively loud. I'll turn that one down. Barra needs turning down. What a note. What a note. I don't know what it is with specifically Blondie and Chibi Tan. Hopefully the music's a decent volume for you folks as well, because I turned it down before I started the stream, because I had it quite loud while I was working. Okay, so... Mm. Gigachu has uh, just risen up out of the ocean and uh, well, is now uh, going to uh, look for a prospective mate. Of course, we know who we're going to go and talk to because you lovely folks voted for them. So we're going to start a relationship with Queen Sidora. Yeah, I guess Chibi Tan just really, really likes um, Call Me. I mean, you know, I'm I'm not going to judge. Not my favourite Blondie track by a fair margin, but I'm not going to judge. The Heck You Martians song. Uh, sort of. <laughs> um, things do not go well for the Thunder Child. Best of luck, Rocket. You got this. We believe in you. And actually, on that note, seeing as they are in place now, we have the perfect emote for this specific thing. Rocket, I believe in you. Don't believe in you. Believe in the me that believes in you. 
Yeah, we have we have new subscriber emotes now, uh, courtesy of the lovely Caps Mystic, aka Natsuman. We even have our very own dance emote now. We have a hobbies jam. Oh. Mm. Okay, so this is new stuff. The aquatic triumvirate purportedly holds authority over the denizens of the deep and has been dubbed Queen Sidora by prominent oceanologist Steve Zisso. Uh. Gigachu has gained audience with Queen Sidora. Okay, so we have got Queen Sidora. <laughs> Cypher's just showcasing all the emotes now. Love it. <laughs> we also have a dead emote now, so every time I die in a game, you can... Um, you, you can mock me in chat, as well as uh, by adding to the death counter. <laughs> okay, Queen Cedora. Oh, shit! Queen Cedora doesn't have any arms. Uh, this is rubbish. This is an abomination. I I I, I was expecting I, I was expecting her to have arms. Oh yes, and we have a an official lurk emote now instead of the uh, Sadako one. Though the Sadako one is still available through Better TTV and uh, Franca Faces, as are all the new emotes as well. Hey, don't worry about it, Eagle Mustache. There's a reason we have so many um, Bardic Broadcast sound clips from the uh, Hero Quest unboxing. Cuss. I fucking love that video. I get that reference. Yep. <laughs> Natsu and I playfully dubbed that um, the avatar in the dead emote as corpsey tan oh mormons doesn't work anymore either it looks like all of the bardic ones except for um hero quest and abomination were still in stream elements that's okay we can fix that hero quest is the best game ever made and anyone who says otherwise is wrong Oh, I love the Hero Quest video. He's done a couple of other really good videos, but the Hero Quest one will always have a special place in my heart. Cause um Just gonna get rid of the uh cursor. So you folks don't have to suffer through it being there, even if I do. Mind your red dog. Porthos has just spun in a little circle and smacked his head into the radiator. Clumsy boy. Okay. If I was a giant seahorse, what would I want to destroy more than anything else in the world? As he's entitled to. Seems like a bad plan to smash your head against things, though. Big Ben. Everybody just wants to uh, crush Big Ben, don't they? Cool. We'll we'll, uh, we'll crush Big Ben. This oh. is this is just where we go for our first dates. We take all of our favourite monsters to Big Ben for their first date. Uncommonly charming Gigachu catches aquatic Cid aquatic Queen Sidora at Big Ben. Hmm. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Big Ben? Gee, I couldn't possibly think. There is a language of love in the levelling of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What? Okay, so this bit, we've gotten yeah. into this before. I'm going to have to turn my mm -hmm. camera light down a little bit. We've still got plenty of daylight, so it should be fine for at least a little bit. What's up, buddy? Do you need to go out? Let me get slow to let you out. Excuse me, folks. Unfortunately, Porthos's uh, heeding of the call of nature doesn't 
um, adhere to any time limit that I can possibly um, anticipate. Okay. Does Gigachu come here often? Yes, yes. We've brought every monster we know um, to Big Ben. So we come here a lot. I'm sorry to hear that, Rocket. You'll get him next time. But we're going to go neutral. Honestly, I was really expecting her to have, have arms and I'm kind of... It's not weird that she doesn't, but it's weird that she doesn't, you know? They are relatively inexperienced when it comes to Big Ben and dating. Yes, sure. Ooh, heck. Yeah, that's scary, Rocket. No arms but oven gloves down her back. Yep. In traditional kaiju fashion, she's made of easily acquirable household objects. Wow, Hobby, some people just have no arms. Get over it. I'm trying to get over it. It's just not a design choice I was expecting, okay? How is Gigachu feeling? Free, honoured, or cheeky? We know nothing about Queen Sidora yet, so I'm guessing it's probably supposed to be honoured. Hasn't King Jidora always had no arms? Like in the movies and such. Uh, hang on a minute. I have a figurine for this. You are correct. However, he has wings. And I think that's what's throwing me. Like, his wings kind of look kind of army. But she got nothing. <laughs> she just got them leggies, which are very good leggies, to be fair. Yeah, my, my brain is just... Um, wings counts as hands, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that, that, I think that's my problem, is because I'm used to King Jidora having wings, there's that like extra sort of balancing factor there. Whereas she just doesn't have that. Like, what happens if someone pushes her over? How does she get back up? Is it all in the tail? Inquiring minds must know. Okay, I think we're probably supposed to go for honoured here. Wings are legs as they are means of propulsion, not manipulation. Ooh, that's a, a really good uh, point, Cypher. Yeah, nah. Overpadded oven gloves down the spine and spring loaded legs. Maybe, maybe. Bat wings can be for both, that is very true. And often are. Wing bones are just fingers. They are kind of fingery, yeah. Prehensile necks. That is a horrifying thought. I love it. Well done, Titters. Bravo. Okay, so we're feeling honoured. I like the little, like, ballet-type pose that Queen Sidora does when she's happy as well. Queen Sidora appreciates the admiration, but is seeking an equal. Ooh, good to know. Like how whales and such still have fingers in their flippers. That is cool. I see that our disarming personality has taken things a step too far with her. Hello, Sol. Welcome in. Bravo. Bravo. 
Mm-hmm. Is this Giga Chu's first time dating royalty? Well, I'm still alive, so probably. Oh. Queen Sidora is glad that Giga Chu is down to earth. Mm-hmm. Queen Sidora wants to know what first attracted Giga Chu to them. Faces, scales, or status? You do have three very beautiful faces. Do you think each head has a different name? Which one's the Kevin? What do you think the Kevin one's called? No one here read Animal Farm then? I read Animal Farm, thank you very much. I dubbed them Inky, Binky, and Pinky. Gee, I wonder where you got that idea from. Well done, Tids. <laughs> Kevin is the left one, the right one is Perry. Hey. <laughs> I understood that reference. The tail's called Clyde. <laughs> Clyde is my favourite ghost. Hello, Spats. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, Nat. Feel free to like mute my browser tab if you want to go and hang out with Spats. I, I, I do appreciate you trying to juggle us, though. That's very kind of you. Hello, Zathia. Welcome in. I had a wind-up Pac-Man ghost toy as a kid. That's super cute. I love that. And yes, you're, you're right, Cypher, by the way, that that was from um, Animal Farm. And I had completely forgotten. Has been a while since I last read it, I must admit. On the note of George Orwell, though, is anybody else excited for the new uh, 1984 audio drama? I have one complaint with it from what I've uh, heard of it already. Um, but I also have one uh, bit of praise to give it from what I've seen already. Okay, um, I think we go with faces. We got so off track talking about um, if the heads have different names. Oh yeah, Spats is lovely. I love it a bit. Fair enough now. Uh, yes, it is. It's Ambrosius by Gnome, according to our no playing, uh, now playing ticker, not our Gnome playing ticker. Ah. Queen Zidora hopes that Giga Chu is more multifaceted than Chu seems so far. Wow, harsh. I also quite like Kraken Wanker. Um, but I appreciate that folks put things other than Crack and Wanker into the jukebox. <laughs> oh no, she thinks we're shallow. She does. <laughs> I mean, we kind of are at the minute. We haven't really shown off our true depth yet. Does Giga Chew like Big Ben? I like crushing it. Wenceslas, Lass, also a really good one. Oh. 
Queen Sidora is delighted to have surfaced for Big Ben and triply for Kikachu. Ah, mm -hmm. that's sweet. Deal breaker question: Does Gigachu kiss on a first date? How do we want to answer this one this time, folks? We went ambivalent last time. We said no the first time. Are we going to make this one the one where we say yes? Are we going to kiss on a first date? Scandalous we are. <laughs> She seems okay with that. If the tide is high and the mood is right. I'm not sure that's how that song goes. Hang on a minute, we only kissed one of the faces there. We best kiss the other ones at some point. Queen Sidora. Oh, okay. They are actually they them. Um, I am sorry, Queen Sidora. I have been using the incorrect pronouns for you. Career-oriented undersea royalty. Do we kiss each face individually or is it all pile in? Oh, well, we only kissed one face. Hobby, we don't have enough mouths. Yeah, but... But we could kiss all the mouths, just like one at a time, or they have very petite, dainty mouths, so we could kiss all three at once, maybe, because we have a really big mouth. It's designed for like eating cars and stuff. Kiss them all in a water. <laughs> it's <laughs> having a little moment of, is this poly representation? <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> Fit all their heads in your singular mouth. Is it mouth? Yeah, exactly. We should do that. I do like that we're kind of colour coordinated. Like we've we've got the kaiju power couple thing going on already. We've already matched our outfits. We'll be all over the papers. It'll be great. Polly Rep would be dating all the giant monsters. That would be so fucking good. Like, honestly, if the devs could do like a, a DLC or a bonus thing that once you've dated all the monsters, you can just date them all at the same time and just be a massive kaiju polycule, polycule that'd be super cute. I'd love that. Okay. Do we have any... Taj Mahal's a palace. I was just about to say, do we have any palaces we can destroy? We've got a couple, actually, don't we? But let's do this one, because it's here. Hey. Do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu poop? It's always does Gigachu nah. poop. Okay. Terrible joke. Okay, yeah. so we already know this as well. What? This is um, Brevity what? explaining how mm. she understands what the kaiju are talking about. What's your sense of Queen Sidora? Ah. They desire a partner to rule alongside. Ah. Will incompatible answers disqualify Gigachu from a leadership position? <laughs> I would speculate that Queen Sidora appreciates diverse ah. ideas. They have plenty of time to achieve consensus where it counts. Oh. Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's see what kind of questions we get this time. Ooh, yeah, that makes sense, Kian. Is Gigachu fashionable? I feel like we need a, like a blep for this, just, sure. <laughs> Um, but we're going to go ambivalent because there is no blep. Ah. Gigachu's got drip, save for the term falling out of fashion under the sea. 
Hmm. What is Giga Chew's top pet peeve? Spitting, paparazzi, or littering? Ooh, okay. So we're we're with royalty here. And I feel like they probably um have more of a problem with the paparazzi than anybody else that we've dated in this game. For obvious reasons. Um But littering Littering is a big one, especially in the ocean, so I feel like spitting wouldn't bother them as much. It's kind of rude, especially when you're spitting in the ocean, which is their home, but I'm thinking littering. What do you think, chat? You think littering as well? Hmm. It is suddenly getting very dark. Please give me a second, folks. There we go. Now I've not got light shining directly into my eyes, but the room is properly lit again. God, that light went away quickly, didn't it? Okay, let's go littering then. Yeah, they're happy about that. Littering is intolerable to Queen Sidora. They care about the environment. I'm, I mean, I'm not surprised. Sort of surprised. What qualities would Gigachu wish to pass to future generations? Humour, a title, or a sense of justice? I suspect we're supposed to go for a sense of justice here, but I am all about my sense of humour and other people's senses of humour. <laughs> um, laughter is a very powerful thing. Sometimes in life it's the only weapon we have. Uh, so this is a difficult one. I'm going to let you folks decide. What do we think? Humour or sense of justice? <sighs> Got to admit, Queen Sidora is giving us some tough questions right out of the gate. They're, they're really... Uh, you know, they, they clearly know what they want. Justice! Okay. We'll go justice. They liked that. They share a mutual love for maritime law and justice, specifically maritime law. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu artistic? Sure. <laughs> sure. Ah. Gigachu accepts Sidora's institutionalist perspective. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Mm. Which does Gigachu prefer? Follow a plan? Go with the flow? Neither. Hello, Halo. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, folks that weren't able to stick around for the end of the um, fourth an anniversary stream, uh, Halo was actually the person who won DuckTales. So bravo, Halo. Congratulations on your win. A winner is me! Hey, Using the new emote as well, wicked. <laughs> Thank you! I really wanted like a Camina Glasses um, emote because uh, for celebrating successes and there we go, celebrating a success with the new emote. With Yas! I figured uh, calling it Yas was the best way to make it easy to type. <laughs> But 
Uh, Kalo, thank you very much for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge, which is now 75% complete. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, that is getting close to being done. I, I'm going to have to learn the No Tappies route. It's the same route, it's just, you know, I've got to remember not to press buttons. Okay. I hate questions like this. I hate them. Because sometimes following a plan is the sensible thing to do. Sometimes going with the flow is the sensible thing to do. Zathio, thank you very much for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge. Oh, I love it when Porthos does tippy taps. He does that when he's um, excited about getting his dinner. <laughs> it's very cute. I guess we have to go with neither and hope that that means both. Because uh, following a plan is great, but no plan survives contact with the enemy. Um, going with the flow is great, but knowing where you're going is important, you know? You can't really live by one or the other alone. There's got to be a certain amount of leeway. Eagle Mustache, thank you very much for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge. 77% complete now. Fuck. Are we going to get to 80 by the end of the stream? Are we going to get beyond 80% complete by the end of the stream? Scary thought. <laughs> Queen Sidora knows where the flow goes, effectively resulting in a plan. Oh, come on, that's a cheat. That's a cop out right there. Oh, they're so cute when they're doing like the little blushy thing. That's me with like doctor questionnaires. I always have caveats and questions about the questions because they're so general and unnuanced. Yeah, exactly. I, I require nuance. <laughs> Nothing's ever that fucking simple. And you can't just distill it down to that simple. It, it's like um, secondary school science. A lot of what they teach you in secondary school biology is so dumbed down that it becomes incorrect because they've gone okay this is the amount that is at, uh, like considered easily understandable for a person of this age but without all of this other more advanced stuff to give context to this thing this thing doesn't make any sense so to make it make sense we're going to change it um, I had to do a lot of unlearning of a lot of stuff when I got to uh, university and was doing biology and chemistry as part of forensics because everything that I'd learned before that was wrong and I didn't do any science subjects in A-level. Mod Hale, welcome and I hope you're doing well today and thank you for contributing to the No Tappies Challenge. Um... But yeah, sometimes dumbing something down causes more damage, in my opinion. <laughs> um, sometimes it's better to just try and provide the additional context. Um, and if they have more questions, fucking answer them. It's not hard. Well, it is hard, but you know what I mean. Mm, where are we going to take you next? Mm. Now, we've got um, a standing rule that we leave the Sydney Opera House alone. Because Nat asked very nicely during the first run. Let's, uh, let's destroy the Sphinx. Uh. Sometimes they dumb it down to wrong. In third grade in Australia, I corrected my teacher who said that it was correct that a kid said the sun was a ball of fire. 
And I said it was not. It was a ball of super hot gas. The teacher said, well, how do you want me to explain it? Um, the right way, teacher? Yeah, unfortunately, teachers are trained to explain things in a certain way. And like you said, third grade, they dumb it down so that it's wrong. Uh, they do that in the UK as well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Modhel, but thank you for hanging out in the Lurkers Lounge whilst you're waiting for your cockwomble internet to be less of a cockwomble. I hope it sorts itself out soon. Not specifically so that you can enjoy the stream to its full extent, but, you know, so that you can enjoy the internet to its full extent. Because <laughs> just sort of generally, that that's much more preferable to not being able to do, in my experience. Huh? Okay, so we're going to skip through mm. this. Brevity's mm. just sort of teaching Lucky about yes. understanding the heart of the kaiju. Ah. Well. <laughs> oh. The unstoppable kaiju couple, Sigachu. We're Sigachu. I like that. That may be my favourite power couple, a kaiju power couple name that we've had so far. <laughs> are making a splash at the Great Sphinx. Let's go live to the scene. Oh, that's really cool, Matt. I tried to teach myself violin a little while ago, um, but really it needs... I, I need somebody who knows what they're doing to help me make sure that I understand what I'm doing correctly. But that's super cool. And no, no, we we will continue to not destroy it. That that that's the rule now. We do not destroy the Sydney Opera House. You asked very nicely during that first run, and that has stuck with me. <laughs> Sigachu used hydro pump. It was super effective. Mm. Sigachu is too close to Pikachu for me. Yeah, that's fair. Does Gigachu find it difficult to compromise? Honestly, I find Gigachu a little too close to Pikachu sometimes. Uh. No. Okay, the more time we spend with uh, Queen Sidora, the more I like their design. I've just, I'm, I'm particularly fond of their little feetsies and I don't know why. They're just very cute. I'm not normally a feet person, but their feetsies are cute. Two little toesies. Very cute. Very cute. I suppose royalty probably doesn't like being called cute though, right? So I should probably stop saying that. Very regal toes. Oh, that sounds weird. Queen Sidora is a born negotiator. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's favourite animal? Octopus, tardigrade, human. We know what we have to pick here. Bollocks to everything else. We love our little water bears. Queen Sidora is impressed by the hydrostatic skeleton and pressure resistance of tardigrades. We always pick tardigrade on that question. <laughs> It's, it's like an unwritten rule. Like, no, no stomping the Sydney Opera House, we also have always picked tardigrades. Which habitat does Gigachu prefer? The big city, a small town, the countryside? Started very young with lessons and it still took a long time to get the basics. Tried to play again lately. Not having kept up consistently makes a huge change in skill. I can imagine. I've still got my violin downstairs. I just, like, I haven't dared take it out of its case since we moved. Tardigrades are the best. I love them. They're cute little things. Oh, yes. No. Chibi Tan, why? Is Baby One More Time not on Spotify? It is. Okay. Ah, it's because it's just called Baby One More Time. Hang on. Uh, I will add that in for you. Uh, 
And yeah, I mean... Okay, so I typed Tenacious D and Spotify was like, do you want Baby one more time or fuck her gently? Both is good. <laughs> I really like Tenacious D. They're good fun. Fuck her gently is great. Fucker Gently is a fucking fantastic song. Fuck it. We're going to have a, like a mini Tenacious D power hour. If anybody else wants to add their favourite Tenacious D songs into the queue, by all means do. Fuck her gently one more time, baby. Yep. Perfect. I like how if you just request Tenacious D with no other context, um, Chibi Town's just like, ah, yes, you want tribute. Everybody wants tribute. It's okay. I've uh, cleared the duplicate out, Kian. Don't worry. Okay. Um, small town? Small towns tend to be near seas uh, can be near seasides. We're having Blondie as well. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the right answer there was. Ah, Queen Sidora is most comfortable in the capital. Should have gone big city. I like how we've got Tenacious D, Tenacious D, Tenacious D, Tenacious D, Blondie, Tenacious D. <laughs> Seeing a pattern here. Okay. What is Giga Chu most proud of? Brawn, brain, or brine? Chibi Than's just like, no, no, nah, mate, you can't have what you want. Um, I have added the correct Smash Mouth song for you. Okay, so we've gone from a uh, Tenacious D mini power hour to a Smash Mouth mini power hour. <laughs> John Bryan, attorney at Claw, bravo. Okay. Um, we're kind of head empty, so picking brain seems like a dumb plan, but I think it's what we're supposed to pick here. Yeah, it was. Queen Sidora is smitten with Gigachu smarts. All one of them. Oh gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mod Hale. Take care, and I hope your internet comes back soon. Thank you for popping in, though. I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, deal breaker question. Queen Sidora wants to know what most attracts Gigachu to them. Their sense of justice their scales, or their transcendence. I think it might be their sense of justice. Not that we've really experienced that yet. Yeah. There we go. Can you tell I've figured this game out now? Gigachu shares Queen Sidora's deep sense of justice and order. The air of mystery. Yeah, we kissed the same mouth again. Why aren't we kissing the other two? This seems really unfair. Torrents of tenderness. Okay, so Queen Sidora likes diplomacy, surfing, their career and gusto. Like the food box subscription service? 
Justice for heads one and three. Yeah. Like, we still don't know what their names are. And uh, they dislike litter, fishing, silliness, and cynicism. Get out of your head. Why? What did I do? What did I say? <laughs> So, I don't think me and Queen Sidora would get on very well. One, Queen. Two, C. Three, Dora. Dora's the Kevin, right? Also, well done. <laughs> Okay, we are due a little break. Um, so I'm going to kick it off now before we start another date. Uh, that gives me an opportunity to have a stretch and a little potter about. Um, before I do, actually. Hang on. He is right up against my computer and he's gone to sleep. I know it's hard to tell because his head is under my desk. But yeah. Dogs. <laughs> right. Saw Gusto and thought of the meal supply too. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> I had a friend who uh, had the Gusto boxes for a while, so I just, it's something that stuck in my head, you know? Right. So we're going to have a little break. Um, those that aren't subbed, don't worry, you ain't going to miss anything. There will be some ads playing, but for everybody that is subbed, it's just going to be my clip reel anyway. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to go and have a stretch and get some fresh air because it's a bit warm in here. Um, and we will be back in about three minutes. So now is a great time to grab a snack, grab a drink, have a smoke if you are so inclined. Um, do all that wonderful meat mecha maintenance stuff. And I will be back with you in about three minutes. Okay. And I will deal with that as soon as I can, Kian, um, after the break. There's plenty of tracks before it, so I'll deal with it after that. <laughs> right. See you in three, folks. I've never beat that fight first time. I've never, ever beat that fight first time before. Holy shit. Um, I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> oh boy, I am not calm. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh yes, please, I'd be so grateful. <laughs> Yes, great master, <sighs> father overlord. That's it, piss off. Go nick someone else's chips. <gasps> I love this game so much. <laughs> Now you don't get to jump on me, asshole. Mm, this is great. This is so good. I haven't used the shoulder bash yet. I'm gonna use the shoulder bash next. Oh, yes. Apparently we can play Nemo's organ. And fairly well. I'm just gonna have to like deep throat my yeti. It's good. That is the single most powerful witch in Ow. all of D&D. &D. 
that would be the one. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you didn't see that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I was having fun, but now I'm scared. Oh, you bastard, that's wicked! <laughs> okay, now I'm scared and happy. Sun thunders your hawk. Oh! <gasps> no! Lothan! We went 79%! We've done so much work! work! Robbed! Yeah, we've been robbed! Welcome back from the break, everybody. What a fantastic clip to end that on. <laughs> I love that clip so much. Snipe and I were uh, poking Longfang about that for a couple of days after he unthundered our hawk. The fiend. The scoundrel. No worries at all, Tid, as you enjoy your time in the Lurkers Lounge. Thank you again for the raid and thank you for hanging out for a bit. Okay, it was the, uh... I don't think the Beatles medley is... Yeah, the Beatles medley isn't on Spotify, Kian, which is why it didn't put it through for you. Unthundered the Hawk. We were playing um, Power Wash Sim, the 40k Power Wash Sim, and we'd got 70, I think 79% of the way through cleaning the Thunderhawk. And uh, Longfang took us to the menu and to a different um, thing. as punishment for misbehaving whilst we were cleaning the Thunderhawk. And we were very upset about it. Ah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. I didn't realise how fun Power Wash Sim was going to be until I did that uh, stream with Snipe and Longfang. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, I've, I've actually been playing um, the Back to the Future Power Wash Sim um, thing <laughs> off stream. Um, I finished it now, but it was really fun. Okay, what other... Let's do this one. Uh, oh, uh, this is when the uh, military get involved. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. Seekers, you just washed up at the Bab al Mansur gate, and they are already making waves. Yeah. Friend kept talking about a non-franchise version, but never showed what it was. But it generally looks a lot better than I imagined. Yeah. Um, as a game, it's just nice and chill to play. Kaiju's need to jet wash a general. Yes, they do. Mm. Um, nothing new and exciting in that mm. conversation, really. Um but yeah, the military's involved now and they have a problem with kaiju love. I was trying to remember where I'd heard that particular word before. Thank you, Cypher. Like the first time I read his name, I was just like, no, this is a familiar word to me. Why is this a familiar word to me? <laughs> uh, I, I know a lot of World War II history buffs. That's why the word is familiar to me. 
What's Gigachi's take on walls? Well, we're about to destroy what looks like a wall, so I guess say no to walls. Oh, oh. no, they didn't like that. Gigachu should visit the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, okay. No, that I wouldn't call that a wall. It's a reef. Is Gigachu vegan? I don't even know if we eat. Ah. Queen Sidora tries to avoid consuming zooplankton. Fair play. Hmm. What is Giga Chew's biggest fear? The ocean? Inadequacy or responsibility? There's only one option we can choose here. We're on a date with the queen of the ocean. <laughs> it's an almost orcish weapon. Really? Fascinating. Oh. Okay, none of the options were good options. Good to know. Queen Sidora needs a confident companion. Could Giga Chu be with someone who didn't share Chu's political beliefs? Is this going to be the only one where we can't say yes? Or shouldn't say yes? I'm going to go for ambivalence. Ambivalence tends to be a safe option. Yeah. Because <laughs> ah. uh, this wall is not coming down very quickly. Or at all. Even Queen Sidora can disagree with themselves from time to time. I imagine so. Mm. Is Giga Chu complicated? Look at that face. Look at that face. There has never been a complicated thought in that brain. Amazing cipher. Ah. Queen Sidora appreciates that Gigachu isn't pretentious. That was that was a rough date. That was a very rough date. Oh dear. I'm gonna go to St. Basil's Cathedral next. Oh. Oh. So they're just talking about yeah. the military problem. <laughs> oh yeah, lucky you sedate a oh. sailor. Mm. Is Gigachu into ornamentation? <laughs> sure. She's not Dame Sidora, Giga Chu. Uh. Mm -hmm. What? How's Calcifer just subscribed for 47 months? You are. Hi, Mom. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you so, so much for the resub. 47 months. Fucking hell. Time has really flown. Ooh, lovely rocket. Please tell me all about it when you get back from, gra uh, from grabbing it and potentially eating it. Has Gigachu been more affected by positive than negative experiences? I hate this question so much. Ambivalence. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Both have charted calm waters and stormy seas. My mum finished the cheese I wanted to use. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I can't sleep. Oh no. Well, welcome back, RNG. Hopefully me failing to date a giant three-headed sea monster will help you doze, will lull you to sleep somehow. Mm. Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? <laughs> Ambivalence. Ah. Queen Sidora isn't inclined to leave the sea. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu a fan of forests? Yeah, they're alright. That's a lie, I love forests. I think they're beautiful. Gigachu underestimates the importance of kelp forests.
Oh, wow. This is not going well at all. I chose to believe that the last heart on Gigachu's tail is actually their butt. Ah, so you, you, you think Chu has a, a Kezu butt. Okay. Cool, cool. <sighs> That's the second time Sega Chu has washed out. Oh. They may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. Hmm. How will they recover from this loss? Well. If Gigachu can navigate the aquatic court and understand Queen Sidora's social obligation, they should be able to turn the tide. Have a baboon bottom, oh. yes. Wait, no, uh, baboons don't have butts at the end of their tails. Their butts are on their butts. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, yeah. right? Well said, and it looks like they are ready to give it another go right now. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu moved by domes? Um, they are big and bright, this is true. Like, how, how do you... What does that even mean? As a question, what does that mean? Uh, I am ambivalent to domes. Ah. Queen Sidora may be more fond of seashells than Gigachu. Mm -hmm. Oh, seashells aren't always dome shaped. Is Gigachu multilingual? Apparently losing our tails allowed us to become bipedal. That makes sense. If by domes you mean big kaiju honkers. You filthy eye. Oh my. Blue from OSP likes his domes. OSP. OSP? Help me out here, Cypher. Too many acronym acronyms. TMA. Oh. We speak kaijulish and bad kaijulish. Gigachu is on Chu's way to being trilingual like Sidora. Mm. Does each head speak a different language? Is Gigachu scientific? Sure. Gigachu is only interested in marine biology. How lewd. Mm. Uh, see, Burj Khalifa. RNG. Is Gigachu philosophical? Sure. Ah. Queen Sidora will need to educate Gigachu on aquatic relativism. Mm. Does Gigachu like animals? Yes. That's an easy one. Aw, Gigachu is singing a whale song. Okay, that's cute. I guess we speak whale. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Sure, I guess. I don't really know them. I hate that it asks you that question at this point because it's just like... I don't know you. <laughs> How do I know if this relationship is worth fighting for? We literally came out of the ocean and took you on three dates and now you're asking that. They are united in resolving conflicts. We kissed the same mouth again. Justice for one and three. Okay. At least we're making things look a little better now. At least we kissed one of the mouths this time. Mm. 
I'm going to destroy Mount Rushmore. I like destroying Mount Rushmore. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Okay, yeah. so I think this is where we get new information. Huh. <clears throat> we will be focusing on the maritime monarch, Queen Sidora. Ah. Are we going to explore the complexities of aquatic politics again? <laughs> you can't deep dive into the ocean without getting wet, Lucky. Huh. I just needed a moment to put on my swim cap. How does one become queen of the sea anyhow? Mm. Surf competition. Fucking seriously. Oh. Oh, yeah. What are Queen Sidora's interests outside of surfing, of course? Ah. Maybe the middle one is the only one of them that is the queen. Maybe. Maybe the other two don't actually want to be in a relationship, but are supportive of the middle head. I've heard worse ways. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so have I. Queen Sidora is a long-standing advocate for social justice and teaches underwater basket weaving to help rebuild coral reefs. <laughs> I fucking love that. That's a very good question, Eagle Mustache. I guess it is, yeah. Huh. How do they even find time to date? Does Gigachu ever get 300% of Queen Sidora's attention? Perhaps the other heads aren't into oral. That's a very fair point. Maybe they're involved, but in different ways. To serve Crassy. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Triumvirate triumvirate is remarkably capable of playing multiple roles simultaneously. Oh. Must Gigachu forego choose own occupational ambitions for only a fraction of Queen Sidora's devotion? Oh. Gigachu might not care about a career and may be happy with a supporting role. <laughs> House Kaiju. Yeah, I'd quit this gig in a heartbeat to be royalty again. Hmm. Now that I think about it, is it socially acceptable for a sea queen to date a terrestrial titan? Or am I misremembering my maritime cotillion classes? Well... It's not completely unprecedented, but navigating undersea society does pose a unique challenge. Oh. It looks like they are making more waves now. Let's go live to their latest date. You can have an occupation and a romance. <laughs> yes, you can indeed. Maybe. Eagle Mustache, maybe. Um But that was that that was more of a like okay, so if you look at like somebody like uh oh fuck, what's her name? Is it Meghan Markle that married one of the princes? She's like a super successful actress and um, I think she owned a business and stuff like that and now she's just married to a prince um, and doesn't get to do anything because of royal duties. These are very civilised concerns and questions they saddle us with. I was really expecting kaiju relations to be more animalistic. Yeah, it is. It's, it's people kaiju more than kaiju kaiju. <laughs> what social cause is most important to Gigachu? Pollution, overpopulation or disenfranchisement? Okay, so let's get our cheat sheet out. Pollution. Pollution is one of Queen Sidora's top pri priorities. Priorities. I'm doing so well with my speaking tonight. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu keep up with current events? This feels like the kind of kaiju we need to say yes to that question with. <laughs> These two kaiju keep up with all the ocean currents.
Hmm. What is the most important reason for marriage? Tax reasons. It's going to be proprietary, isn't it? Oh, the bad joke was aimed at the game, Eagle Mustache. You're fine. Ah. Was it tax reasons? Following social protocols is important, but not the most important. Was it supposed to be friendship? You get married for friendship. That's weird. That's really weird. You don't you don't need to get married if you have a good friendship and a good relationship. It's just paying money so that society sees your relationship as respectable. Yes, it's fucking political. <laughs> Everything's political. Yeah, exactly, Soul. Does Gigachu think exes can be friends? I think it's very dependent on the situation. <laughs> no, no reason option? No, marriage is a sham property contract option? Yeah, exactly, Nat. Really leftist game here. <laughs> oh, well, oh. I accidentally went for ambivalent there. Queen Sidora's experiences are largely diplomatic and amicable. Mm. Is Gigachu into sports? Sure. This is going to be a water sports joke, isn't it? Queen Sidora is actually an accomplished athlete. Blow kiss. Yeah, yeah, there's that as well. Now, nah. oh dear. Save it. Save our love. Oh. If I hadn't accidentally ambivalented on one of them, we might not have needed to save our love there. We'd have probably needed to save it on this one. Ah. Okay, mm, so Pangendrum's well, back. Uh, ah. Huh? But assuming they actually remain in the zone, won't they simply continue? Ah, okay, yep. So uh. they've set up like a friend zone, as it were. It's a safe zone for the kaiju to destroy things in. <laughs> Operation friend zone, there you go. Uh. Um, oh. Is it going to work? No. Hmm. Does Gigachu dream? Yes. <laughs> Gigachu dreams of being under the sea with Chu's queen. Yeah. Mm. Which most describes Gigachu? A peacekeeper, a troublemaker, neither. I think peacekeeper is the correct option for this one. So neither was the correct option when we were dating legally distinct Moth Bay. Uh, because they're a queen, Sol. And they they can't really be dealing with um, shenanigans. Do Giga choose dream of gi gigantic sheep? No, apparently they they dream of uh, Queen Sidora. But well done on the reference, RNG. Uh... Also, they dislike silliness, if I remember rightly. Yeah, they dislike silliness. So, which is probably part of why I'm doing so badly at this one. Because uh, uh, I am a little silly. I'm a lot silly. I shouldn't lie. My mother raised me not to lie. I am very fucking silly. <laughs> yeah. Queen Sidora is a commens uh, is a consummate dip diplomat, not a commensurate diplomat. Close, but not quite the same. Mm. And definitely not a consomme diplomat. Ooh, soup. Is Gigachu educated? 
I went to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> um, yes. We're gonna lie. That's the only way we're getting through this what, this run is by lying. There is no honesty here, no earnestness. We we used all of that up when we were dating um, Mosra. Went to Kaiju University. Yes, we did. We've got the um, cereal box back um, diploma to prove it. In the art of destruction, Gigachu has a master's degree. Bravo. <laughs> Gigachu finished off a very prestigious finishing school. <laughs> okay, no, that was good. That was good. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, Melting Ice Caps, or the KPG Extinction Event? Doctorate of Destruction, a DD. Beautiful, love it. It's either going to be Great Pacific Garbage garbage Patch or it's going to be the Melting Ice Caps. And I think it's the Great Pacific Garbage Patch we want to go for here. Hey, Podlord, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, it was the Garbage Patch. Oh. Becoming Monarch of the Ocean was Queen Sidora's. Yeah, that's fair. Getting nuked, by definition. Yeah. <laughs> you may hear slow making noises in the background. Um, I think he's playing WoW. At least he's having fun. Still going to say that the most formative experience is simply waking up. It really fucking is. Seeking spirited but sophisticated suitor. Love languages, service and giving. Virtues, justice, fairness and leadership. Greek love style, pragma, committed companionship. I can do one of those things. Queen Sidora is very not my kind of uh, kaiju. <laughs> I'm trying the best I can. Ah. Sikachu continues their powerful pursuit of love. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so Panjin Drum's back. New plan oh. in motion. Mm. Well. Let's see what they've got this time. Their relationship is not as strong as you mm. think. Ah. Our surveillance submarines have observed that their relationship was founded on ulterior motives. Yeah. Blimey. <gasps> Me too. Yes. Yes, their relationship is politically motivated and Gigachu is manoeuvring for one of Queen Sidora's crowns. I highly doubt that. Hello, Porthos. Um, can you please get your nose off of my leg? Thank you. I'm wearing shorts because I'm warm and he's just pressed his cold, wet nose against my bare leg. Uh. That's it. <laughs> People often have multiple motivations. Uh. But these kaiju, these are kaiju, so it would be foolish to assume and project complex human wants and needs. Oh. You mean like this video game's been doing? Uh. Regardless, once Queen Sidora realizes that their relationship is founded on false pretenses, their destructive dating will surely end. Hello, Valcyon. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Um, yes, he is a very good boy, but he has a cold, wet nose that I do not want on my leg. Hey, buddy. There we go. He's sat down now. Let's see how much of him's on camera. A little bit. Hey, buddy. Hey, <laughs> buddy. 
<laughs> yes, exactly, Obby. <laughs> I'm, I'm just calling it like I see it, Nat. Just calling it like I see it. <laughs> we have already deployed diplomatic drones to disrupt the relationship. Ah. We better go live to the scene and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into fitness? Sure. Ah. Queen Sidora is a fitness queen as well. Oh yeah, of course, they like surfing. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into piercings? I think I need to say no here. Yeah, I need to say no here. Imagine being this dedicated to being a hater. I know, right? Oh, the dog has, has fled from the camera space. He's stuck with me again. Sorry. <clears throat> Their nearly impenetrable scales would make piercings problematic anyhow. Mm. Which does Gigachu go for? Warm weather, cold climate... Clement temperature. I think it might be clement temperature. Yeah. We are just trying to make sure we survive these dates. We're, we're not trying to be honest anymore. Queen Zidora's subjects reside in a range of climates. Mm -hmm. What is Giga Chew's favourite holiday? Jellyfish Festival? National No SpongeBob Day? High five day. Well, it won't be high five day because uh, Queen Sidora can't partake in high five day. I don't know whether the Jellyfish Festival is a festival celebrating jellyfish or if it's um, a... Uh, festival eating jellyfish um and national no spongebob day surely queen sidora would um be supportive of all of their um subjects not just the ones that aren't annoying um Cypher's thinking too. What do you think, chat? So we've got Cypher thinking too. Does anybody else think differently or do you agree with Cypher? I'm thinking one. Is the Jellyfish Festival a real thing? I'm going to ask the internet if the Jellyfish Festival is a re real thing. Oh my god, it is a real thing. Um, it's an actual fe festival that happens on beaches. Or happens on a beach. I didn't look at it properly. Um, which would cause littering and um, that kind of thing. So if it's supposed to be that jellyfish festival, then they they wouldn't like that. Got to be four, the day of drowning of Atlantis. Bravo. Um, I've got two votes for one. Okay, I'm going to go for number one and we're going to find out whether it's the like Jellyfish Music Festival or if it's something else. Okay, it was something else. <laughs> Jellyfish Festival is a day for lovers. Mm. Is it? Is Gigachu chasing Queen Sidora's crown? No. That's an easy answer. I'm chasing the wind condition. <laughs> 
The crown is inconsequential when it comes to Gigachu's love for Queen Sidora. Kiss. Yes! We still kissed the middle mouth, though. Sigachu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Ah. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Hmm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Tefra has been dating the mystical monkey, Pyron. <laughs> what kind of hijinks are these two up to? Well... These fun-loving kaiju have been steaming things up at Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. Oh. That's one hot couple. Huh. Almost as if they only had the money for one animation. I mean, to be fair, small indie dev. I'm not, I'm not, um... I'm not disparaging them for that, but at the same time... Poor one and three... Will Gigachu and Queen Sidora be able to generate that kind of heat in their relationship? Oh. Let's see for ourselves as we go live to their latest date. Maybe one and three aren't fond of kisses. Yeah, we have talked about that already. So... As long as that's the case, I'm fine with it, but we don't know. Does Gigachu like rock? Sure. This queen doesn't even go for gemstones. Oh, okay. Mm. How is Gigachu at keeping secrets? Yes. Oh. Gigachu can be trusted with state secrets. Sure. Mm. Which is Gigachu? A morning monster, a creature of the night, or neither? Okay, a cheat sheet isn't helpful here. Uh, let's go neither. But does Gigachu like stone? Only for Carl. Sol, only for Carl. Ah. Queen Sidora is decidedly an early riser. Good for mm. them. What are Gigachu's hobbies? Fishing, surfing or crafts? It's surfing. We need to go for surfing. They hate fishing, and crafts would be, like, a fine answer, but it's not the right answer. What, Pudlord? What did I do now? Very neat, Dash. We love a fun fact. That's Gigachu's hobby. Uh oh, 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 I see. I see. Well done. <laughs> well, well done. Are you serious? I should have figured that was what you meant. <laughs> oh, grats, Pud Lord, you caused me a bit of damage there. <laughs> Just a little bit of damage. They both love to ride the waves. Mm. Is Gigachu theatrical? Oh, it's fine, Pudlord. It's the enjoyable kind of damage. You're all good. It is a good pain. I think the answer to this is no. Because if we look at the cheat sheet, they don't like silliness. They do like gusto. And being th theatrical is a very gusto kind of thing. Mm. But it would probably be classed as silliness? I'm gonna say no. 
Oh, no, okay. Oh. Gigachu has never broken the box office. Mm. But Chu's cousin got an Oscar. Indeed, Dash. Does Gigachu dig desserts? There is no indication about whether this is a yes or a no. Oh, deserts, not desserts. I'm thinking about food again. Can you tell? We'll go ambivalent. It's safer this way. Yeah. Queen Sidora isn't sold on the seafloor similarity. That's fair. Oh, dear. That was not a good one. That was not a good one. Oh. The Titanic tidal wave of love broke before reaching the shore. The kaiju couple have been quarantined in the military's friend zone. Aww. Though they couldn't keep swimming in the same social circles, they still splash around at the beach together. Hmm. Wait, did we actually lose? Hungry hobby emote needed. I'll add that to the list for next time I... Um... If Twitch adds some more emote slots, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get another... I'll, I'll get more emotes done because I have run out of emote slots. <laughs> Will Gigachu return to the dating scene soon? Well. I think we I think we bad ended. Yeah. Hey, Frankenstein, welcome in. Hopefully after some time for self-reflection and self-actualization, we will see Gigachu again in a new game. Yeah, shit. We got friend zoned. Oh shit, I never did my treat for the bar staff from Torpor from earlier as well. Thank you, Cypher, for the treat for the bar staff. And Torpor, thank you for the one that I was supposed to claim earlier. Um, we have a gummy bear and a cola bottle. Thank you. Hmm. And there was a, a, a sweet that fell out of the jar onto the floor. But I can't see it. Okay, let's see if we can load from... Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. It doesn't even, like, force you into the Mechachu um, fight. It just kills you. <laughs> that is the first time we've failed. I'm going to see if we can salvage it. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Well. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna rush through these now. See if we can salvage this. Hmm. See if I can remember all the answers. Well, this is going all right so far. Hopefully that remains uh, the case. Mm. Fastest day ever. Kissy. Kissy! Okay. We cannot fail. We cannot fail at all. Oh. Every date has to be perfect. Uh, hello. Ah. Uh, oh. Mm. Well. Mm. Ah. <gasps> yes. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Speed date kaiju edition. Exactly. Yes. Yes, we are. Is Gigachu into piercings? 
No, we know that one. Clement temperature. I had to think about that one for a second. Okay. Okay. We got this. We got this. Okay. Two kisses in a row. We got this. Okay. This is speed dating. <laughs> we we are now basically doing a speed run of this game. No. I went ambivalent last time. No this time. Okay. Morning monster. Mm. Fuck, I don't know. I can't afford to get this wrong. I'm going to cheat. Where is Queen Sidora on this list? Oh my god. There. Okay. Uh, poetry. Poetry isn't on this list. Shit. Uh... Ah, there we go. Yes, found it. Oh, does it dash? I didn't know that either. Neat. You are full of fun facts about All Star. Tingling toes, touched by tide, caress skims across scales, chills. Yeah, it is a good film. It's good fun. I will watch anything with Doug Jones in. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was, we have two dates left. Oh, oh. okay. Hmm. Pantry drums back. We expect that Gigachu will lose interest in Queen Sidora once Chu realizes the fate of their kingdom. Hmm. Do you mean the ocean? Uh. The military won't even need to lift a finger. Eight million metric tons of plastic are dumped in the ocean each year. Oh. For our viewers in the United States, Myanmar and Burma, that's about 17.6 billion pounds. <laughs> that's incomprehensible. Why aren't they using the metric system? Uh -huh. Are you more upset about their measurement system? Uh. I'm actually quite concerned about both. Uh. Did you want to know any more about our plans to defeat the kaiju? Huh. I'd like to know what you're going to do to clean up our oceans. <laughs> well, we have a secret weapon we could repurpose once we've defeated Sigachu. Ah. Speaking of Sigachu, let's go live to their date in progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does Sigachu dance? 
Uh, that is not a question that this um this list has on it for that date. It doesn't give you the questions in the same order, I guess, and they've just provided them in the order they got them. Fate of our realm, rising sea levels means they'll expand. Yeah, exactly. They'll have a bigger domain because of us. I mean, the pollution is less of a good thing. Hey, Waddledy, welcome in. Mm. Which does Giga Chu follow, head or heart? Or the queen? Uh. Hmm. Go up to the top. Okay, that is literally not on the list here. So let's think. <clears throat> Still no option for stomach. Um... They want an equal. So if we say the queen, that's going to cause us problems. So I'm going to go with head. Because they want someone that's also level-headed. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Queen Sidora does the same. Does Gigachu care for concrete? I think the answer to this is no, but I'm going to check anyway. Yeah. We don't take it for granted if nothing else. Oh dear. <laughs> Two shared the experience of stepping on Dolos. Okay. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Can we just go with just to be with uh. We do love a good dyke, we do. We we do love a good dyke. Uh Surf Ambassador, I guess. The answer that's listed in this guide is not is not there. <laughs> be an optimal position for pursuing politics and catching waves. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. We made it through the, the chapter. Definitely first try. Definitely didn't fuck that up last time. We're into Act 3. Clean slate. Challenge. Gigachu must be zealous, a zealous lover for whom Queen Sidora would forfeit their throne, yet a savvy enough suitor to circumvent such a sacrifice. Oh jeez. That's that's a lot. <laughs> oh. Uh, special announcement. So this mm -hmm. is when yeah. Major Pangendrum well, uh, announces uh, uh, their uh, ultimate uh. weapon, Mechachu, who doesn't look anything like Gigachu.
Uh, you know what? I don't think I need the help with this one, so we're just going to do it anyway. Yes, I think our love is pretty good. <laughs> Their love is the biggest around. Do we need to go on a crusade for them? I fucking hope not. See, this is why I hate that is this romance worth fighting for question right near the beginning. It's so just like... Depends on what kind of fight. Do you think it's worth fighting for? You know? It works both ways. Where was Sigachu's first date? It was... Big Ben! Imagine showing up to a date and saying, so you think your love is pretty great, huh? Yep. <laughs> Gigachu remembers the date like it was yesterday. Because it happened yesterday. Does Gigachu know Queen Sidora's most formative experience? Twas becoming their majesty. <laughs> it's right there in the name. What is Gigachu's sign? Is there actually a... Oh, okay. No, no. We, we've done all of the things that have answers that you can do anything with. This is the beginning of the end. <laughs> ah. Queen Sidora isn't interested in expatriated space fish. Fair enough. Does Gigachu recognize Queen Sidora's greatest weakness? The caste system. Grass types. <laughs> Queen Sidora knows that they are entrenched in an antiquated system. Well, at least they're aware of it. Will Gigachu disgrace Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? You bet your fucking ass I will. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine, fine. Queen Sidora is concerned by Gigachu's cavalier attitude about the impact of their relationship. Does Gigachu recognize that Chu isn't compatible with Queen Sidora? No. Oh. Queen Sidora has apprehensions about their alliance. Has Gigachu ever been bested by a robotic rival before? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> There's no point in lying about it, we'll lose either what? way. What's with these dastardly loaded questions? That's what I've been saying all game. What? wah Oh. Okay, so oh. the algorithms have murdered that, our love. Oh no. Yeah. Mm. Oh. This is definitely yeah. over. This is definitely the end of the game. No, it's not. We're now oh. going to go and ask for relationship advice from all the other kaiju. Huh? Oh. Ah. Mosra appreciates the struggle to balance social obligations and personal needs. Mm. The circumstances for their romance might not be the most conductive to growth, mm. but love will grow if they are willing and committed to the work and each other. Oh. The juice is worth the squeeze for Gigachu. Ah. Tefra digs Gigachu and Queen Sidora's devotion. Mm. Their relationship is founded on common ground and commitment. Mm. Their passions may not rise and fall like the tides, but they share a subtle flow that fulfills each other's needs. <laughs> the current of their love runs deep. Ah. A political union isn't Terpio's cup of tea, but C appreciates the uniquely shared interests and goals of Gigachu and Queen Sidora's alliance. Mm. Their relationship is elevated by clearly established expectations, boundaries and desires. Mm. Supporting each other's pursuit of separate interests is healthy. Aww. Their hearts swell to see each other succeed. Okay, that was nice. I like that. Ah. 
Garadan isn't particularly political, but he is a team player. Mm. It's perfectly healthy to have one's own individual goals. Mm. Supporting your partner's gains can be even more rewarding than merely making yourself swole. Okay, you know what? That one needs to be a screenshot. I'm just I'm saving that. That's going in the meat mech workshop later. Because that's what that channel's all about. Yeah. I suppose some kaiju would rather be spotters than be in the spotlight. And there is nothing wrong with that. Hello there, legally distinct Boyolante. Oh. Social constructs and undersea society may seem nonsensical to Magaricus, but they understand the importance of shared meaning and values. Mm. Avoid inventing obstacles and focus on overcoming solvable problems. Mm. Cherish one another's influence to keep the alliance healthy and on course. <laughs> Gigachu is a veteran navigator of love. Huh? Gigachu charted a course for love, but Queen Sidora seemed lost at sea. It's time. Time to fight for love. <sighs> oh. Okay, so well, yes. it's okay. Oh. It's oh not over God. yet. We knew that their relationship was too strong for a single defeat, so we have prepared a finishing blow. What, what are you planning? Uh. Mekachu will once again confront them with the weaknesses of their relationship, and Queen Sidora will have no choice but to accept the superior suitor. <laughs> Who would that be? Hmm. Our experts surmise that Queen Sidora would surely settle for a common kaiju in... was surely settling for a common kaiju in Gigachu. Hmm. Are you suggesting Sidora would rather date... No. Go no, the king of the monsters is definitely not their type. Mekachu is the perfect match. Very close to getting sued there. Oh. Well done, folks. Since when is Mekachu royalty? <laughs> Since yesterday. Oh. Mekachu's operating system was upgraded with all the latest aristocratic algorithms. We've installed a cutting-edge crown, and Mekachu was granted the title of Duke by the Mustache King himself. Uh. As long as love doesn't supersede the adherence to an archaic social construct, I guess this will be the end for Sigachu. Oh. Let's go live to see if love survives this climactic confrontation. Honestly, I think um, the Mosra storyline has had the best stakes at this point so far because the military kidnapped her kids. Are you back for more? Yes. <laughs> Sigachu's back for love. Where was Sigachu's first kiss? <laughs> On the lips. It was Big Ben. We kissed on our first date for the first time ever. That kiss was unforgettable. What are Queen Sidora's love languages? They are service and giving. I remember that from the cheat sheet. <laughs> Their love is so eloquent. What is Gigachu's worst habit? Uh, talking to themselves? Spitting. Spitting is their worst habit. Okay. I don't know why. Spitting is common. It's a common ocean activity. I suppose it is, yeah. A lot of sea creatures spit. Will Gigachu disgrace Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? Okay. How am I supposed to answer this one? Yes, I, I am supposed to answer the way I did last time. <laughs> okay, but now it's all right to do that, apparently. Gigachu respects Queen Sidora's judgment on the matter of their romantic pursuits. How is Gigachu suited for Queen Sidora? Zest for life, breath holding, How lewd. surf skills, zest for life. And zest for love, I guess. Gigachu is a breath of fresh air for Queen Sidora's life. Mm. There we go. Gigachu wishes to express what Chu loves most about Queen Sidora. Sense of justice, wasn't it? It was last time, so I feel like it should be again now. Oh. 
Kikachu shares Queen Sidora's deep sense of justice and order. Yay, kissies! We win! Neither social nor mechanical constructs could constrain Gigachu and Queen Sidora's alliance of love. Oh. Is Gigachu's lack of title no longer an issue? Well. Gigachu's very, very victory over Duke Mechachu proves that a title is meaningless in matters of the heart. <laughs> a moist, hotomic breath indeed. Queen Sidora will continue to oversee the seas with Gigachu by their side. Oh. Can Gigachu breathe underwater or is Chu simply sustained by love? Mm. There is still so much that we don't know about Gigachu. Yeah. Yeah, like if Chu eats or poops. Oh. Or what would have happened if Gigachu had chosen to date another kaiju? Well... I suppose someone would have to play again to find out. Bye-bye. See you next time. Oh, that's a cute picture. I like that. We'll have that. Well, everybody. Everybody poops, this is true. That is the end of our Kaichu community playthroughs. We have successfully romanced three separate legally distinct Kaiju. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. It is wallpaper material, isn't it? It's very cute. I like the Mosra one better, but I'm biased. <laughs> um, okay. So... We are actually just going to finish up there. There is nothing else for us to do. So. Um, there is a giveaway active on the stream. One person has entered so far. It's for a copy of Troublemaker. So if you would like to get your hands on that, exclamation mark ticket will get you one ticket to enter. You can purchase 10 tickets by saying exclamation mark ticket space and then the number of tickets you wish to purchase up to a value of 10. Um, and I will count you down now if you do want to enter last minute. Don't edge the timer though, because it never ends well for anybody except for Rocket. You have five, four, three, two, one, and a little bit for the lag. The giveaway is closed. And as we have one ticket purchased, one entrant, our winner is... Cypher, congratulations. I will send you that code a little later. You are most welcome, Rocket. You are most welcome, Podlord. You are most welcome, Halo. Thank you for being here, folks. Definitely rigged. 300%, yeah. This is why I want to get the giveaway off of Stream Elements as well, because Stream Elements can't do maths. You're most welcome, Torpor. I intend to, don't worry. I've got a pizza waiting for me downstairs. Okay. Let's find somebody to send you lovely folks on over to. I will be back tomorrow evening for some late night lounge, hopefully accompanied by DMAC. Don't know what we're doing yet. I demand a recount on the thing that you won. <laughs> um, yeah, don't know what we're doing yet. It's either going to be some more World of Horror or it might be something else. We'll see. We'll see. I have to discuss it with D if he's actually available tomorrow. If not, then it will just be me and I get to decide what we do. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll see you then. 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, massive thank you, obviously, everyone for coming along today. This has been good fun. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. Should not have gone back to work on a Friday. It was a stupid idea. Um, but special thank yous today go to Tidders for the raid right at the start of the stream and for kicking off a hype train <laughs> and to my mother for the resub uh, so thank you both oh um is my guide the raid not on at the minute did I forget to turn it back on uh yeah yeah we can we can raid we can raid spats um Right. Uh, and you get that one for free, Nat. Seen as uh, I don't know if I've turned the guide the raid back on. Goodbye.
Yeah, it looks like I forgot to turn the Guide the Raid back on, so you get a Guide the Raid for free. Grats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very much in the same boat as you, Nat. <laughs> but thank you for being here. It's been lovely to have you, and uh, you're most welcome. Okay, right. Hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. But until I do see you next, I want you folks to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking claws. And have a wonderful weekend, everybody however you're spending it. Now, go say hi to Spats for me. And if you don't get pulled through with the raid, as always, there's a link to Spats' channel in the chat there. Please do hop along, give her a follow if you're not already following. Lovely streamer, did a really good interview with me a few weeks back. Um, yeah, right. I'm gonna go now. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a rest. <laughs> so.